Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. I have made these little stuffed vellum envelopes into pieces that you can use on the pages of your junk journal, or possibly you would want to pop them into a larger pocket. So I've decorated them with pieces of paper, pieces of lace. This one has a satin bow, a little mini price tag, and it also has a bulb pin with seed beads on it. I've etched the envelope in a gold metallic and stuffed it full of all types of little fun things to flip through and journal in. There's a little journaling card here, or booklet, a label from Chapter One Papers, and some beautiful blue tags. And they just pop right into your envelope, just like this. And you can decorate this in a really fun way. This one here, I, I used a heavier piece of lace and the pieces of paper, another bulb pin, and then I have also edged this one with the gold paint. And let's look inside and see what's in here. I made a tag using just a cluster of papers. I accented it with the torn piece and some sorry soap from Crimson Heart Studios. I'll link her shop down below. And there's a label from Chapter One Papers here. All three of them are from Chapter One Papers. They're quick, they're easy, and I think there's something wonderful that you could pop into your vintage style junk journal. Now you wouldn't have to make these into a vintage style, but I have chosen to do so. It's my favorite style to make. Now you could glue this completely onto your page. You could glue it on on two sides right here even the flap you could glue down and then you could have another tuck spot or you could put it on a hinge and hinge it out or you could pop it into a larger envelope let's begin I started with pre-made vellum envelopes they're from the reflections trademark vellum envelopes they're three and a fourth inches by three and a fourth inches. I did purchase them from Michaels recently here in the United States. So they look like this when we take them out of the package, just like that. <clears throat> and the way that I placed my gold paint on the edge was using my folk art enamel gold. Now this is very inexpensive. You can buy it at most craft shops or even Walmart carries it. So let me grab my paintbrush and I'm going to show you how I applied it. I have a small paintbrush here, very inexpensive. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could use your fingers to apply. I'm just placing a small amount on my glass top and I'm going to place my paintbrush into the paint and then I'm just going to brush the edge. Now you don't have to be perfect. In fact not being perfect I think gives it lots of character. You could even you know if you go too much like let's just say let's just do it. You go too much that's okay. Mark, Make it part of your design. Okay. Some can be heavier. Some areas can be heavier with paint. Others can be <clears throat> a little lighter with the paint. It's very simple to do. You don't have to be precise. That won't be fun if you're trying to be precise. So I'm going to get my fingers in here. There we go. Open this up with my fingers so that I can paint this portion right here. And I'm just slapping it on, you guys. I'm not worried about getting it on in a special way. Or anything just applying it so if you want you can put you know just a little bit more like this especially if you mess up just go like that and just make it part of the design okay don't worry about it if you 
accidentally get out of lines. Just make it part of your design. I'm going to clean up and we'll continue. I have two envelopes that I have painted with the gold paint and they're completely dry. So let's show you, let me show you your next step. I have a basket here and my basket on this side right here, this is what we're going to need right now. They're little torn pieces of my scrap papers and I've torn, torn them into small pieces and I have inked them. Now, if you don't ink, then of course you don't need to do that. It's a personal preference, but they're in the shades of which I'd like to use, um, decorate my little envelopes with. The two examples that I showed you, they're in the blues, and I'd make like to make a couple in the pink shades. So what I wanna do is we're basically making a cluster using paper and pieces of lace. So I really like this right here that I used earlier. So I'm gonna cut this apart right here. I'm gonna cut it right like this, like that. That's gonna be great. And I've got this little scrap of lace that I've been trimming on for a while now, cut it down, and maybe these two pieces will be good. I have a little dish, and in my dish I have two buttons with thread tied through the holes. I have two bulb pins with some seed beads on them, and I have two mini price tags that I've inked up and I've placed the thread through the holes. I'd like to use those too. So let's just start here. Um, maybe we could use, start with this. Now we're making our cluster over on one of the bottom corners. Because I'm right-handed, I think I tend to go on this side, but you can put your items over here too. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna see if I can get it going together the way I like. So far, I like that a lot. And let me push this up above so you can maybe get a better view of what I'm doing. Move this one out of the way. We'll do that one in a minute. I'm going to switch to my art glitter glue. Mm, I'm going to need to clear my throat. And I'm going to add the glue onto my piece here and just lay it down. And now I'm going to finish it off here. I didn't know, didn't want to put glue where, <laughs> where it wasn't going to be sticking. I think all of this is going to be placed on the envelope. Maybe something like that. I'll leave a little bit of the pink showing through at the top. Now, I'm going to pop in a piece of lace at this time. So, I think I'll have it up here. At, no, maybe right there. And I'm going to switch to my hot glue because it allows me to get my item placed and then keep going and not have to worry about it being moved or not, you know, being sticky. So we've got that. Now it looks like this so far. The next thing is select another little piece of something. Let's see here. No, I don't think I want that. I want this, but I want it to be smaller. So because I've inked mine, I'm going to go ahead and ink that and I'm going to pop it right here but I'm still not real convinced that's all I want yeah I like that so I'm going to pop this one down first so adding my glue onto my piece popping that down just like that and then putting this one on top I don't know if that's going to stick because of the I'm putting it on top of lace Okay, well goodness gracious, that looks awfully sweet. Now, you know you don't want to put anything where you can't still get in your envelope. You need to get in that envelope. Now let's see, maybe we could, I'm looking, I think it's this side. We could put a little something else here. Let me cut this, maybe cut that. Um, I don't know if I like that one on there, or maybe we could pop this one on here. 
that's really sweet. Uh, do I want it over there? I'm not sure. Um, I have buttons. Oh, that's cute. I have price tags. I have uh, pins, old pins. I kind of like. I like that brown one. I think I want to actually put my my button and I'm looking I thought I had two of those pieces I cut off I do it's right here maybe I could fold this up yeah I'm gonna fold it up like that and have the points away from the picture meaning I want my extra to come off of the envelope. I didn't want to cover up my pretty flowers there. Now I'm going to pop this on, maybe about right there. And then I'm going to pop my button right here. Putting my button. And I think I want my pin to come at this angle. Well, let's see, get it to come through. There. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I'm going to set this aside. We're going to stuff these too. I've prepped some things to place inside. So let's grab this one and <clears throat> let's do it on this side. And I don't know which ones. Oh, that's pretty together. Not sure. We're just playing around here. Yes. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so let's glue the first piece down. So adding my glue, I'll pop it right there. And then this is my next piece, and I'm going to pop it maybe about like that. Now I think it's time to bring in a little bit of lace. So I'm going to cut off a little piece. Now maybe we want to use different lace because sometimes it's nice to show different types of lace because you might say, well, I don't have that type of lace. I don't have anything like that. So if we use something different, then maybe you'll be able to say, oh, I have something like that. I can do that. I'm going to uh, put this back together here and see. This seems awfully large to me. And I don't know, I didn't mind it earlier, but now it's kind of, so if things are, you know, not working out, there, okay, I'm going to glue that right down there like that. I am going to use my hot glue so that I can keep going. I need to ink this up just like this and place it maybe something like that. I'm just looking to see as I as we fix this up what I want to do here. I don't mind that, but it seems like something needs to be right there at the top. Let's bring in that box again that has all different little pieces on it. This is much heavier here. I don't want to really cut that flower. That flower looks great. Let's see what, oh, here's this little flower. That might be just what we need. A little tiny piece. That's not bad. Um, let's put a price tag in this one. All right, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to get this piece glued down. Oops, adding my glue and getting it down like 
that and then let's put the tag, the price tag, on, I think I want it about right here, so I'm just going to glue it on. Get that in place and glued on. Okay, and now I don't really know if I want this or not, so I'm going to trim it because it's a little wild. <laughs> So let's trim it if it's a little wild. See if I can turn it to where maybe I would like it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, do I want this little flower here or maybe up here? Down here? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm worried that I'm getting too many elements on here. I don't want so many elements. I'm going to go back to my box. You know, put that flower back. It didn't do it for me. I just thought it wasn't really giving me that look that I wanted. And is there anything else here in this box? No, not really. Okay, I'm going to get in another box. I'm going to bring it down because it's something, I'm just not sure, but something needs to happen up here. And this just getting too many elements like that. So maybe a little piece of lace uh, will give me what I'm looking for. Here's my other scrap box. They're just little pieces that I save. And I'm thinking... All I need is something like this. So I'm actually going, I don't want a lot of it, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and just pop this on just like this and then give it a trim. There. I do think that's all I needed. I'm thinking it's going to need a pearl on this one. Let's glue our piece of lace down right here. There we go. And we need our pin, our bold pin. And it has some light pink seed beads. Maybe I don't need a pearl. Maybe I need to just pop this, if I can get it in there, through the glue. Yeah, it doesn't want to go through the glue very well. There we go. Yeah, I may not need a pearl if I can get this closed. Goodness gracious. There we go. Oh, yeah. That looks just perfect. That's what it needed. It needed that little piece right there. Now let's fill these. That's really fun. Let's look at what we have in our basket. We have some pieces of ephemera. I took this heart and edged it with some gold paint. This was the toilet paper that we embossed a long, long time ago, you guys. I think that's really sweet. This is a journaling card that we placed wax on, and it's transparent. I like that. I popped a little lace on top, a little sorry silk on top of this one. This is just a journaling card. I add a little something onto this one as well. Made a little fold out here. So these are ones that have little pieces of lace or paper glued on them for a little bit of accent. And that's always something that just really <clears throat> makes it look a little more vintage. And there we are. Okay. Now, let's bring in our envelopes, and I'm going to start with a larger piece in the back. So, which one does it look I like it with this one. I'll pop this in here. Now, we've got a little bit of net on top here, and then maybe this lady. Will that cover that up too much? I don't know. That's awful pretty in there. Maybe she would be better in here. So we just have to try them out to see <clears throat> where things look the best. Get 
it in this envelope here, pressing it down to the bottom. Oh goodness gracious, that looks really nice in there. I'm going to turn this. Maybe something like that. Oh goodness, isn't that pretty? Let's see, what can we do with this one? So many things that you can do. That one is really sweet too. I'm not sure I want to stay with that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Is this too big? I haven't found it yet, guys. Keep trying. If you haven't found it yet, just keep trying. And when you find it, you'll know. You'll go, oh, yes, that's it. <laughs> that's what you'll say. That's it. Okay, now let's see. Is there a little... Oh, I do like this. It's so very different. Okay, I think it's coming together now. That one's really sweet too. You guys, I love how this has turned out. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And if you have, oh my goodness, look at them together. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.